Hello everybody, my name is Jared Weathers and welcome back to my channel and today I have another interview with another SVBW star. I don't know what they, I don't know, they, they're called wrestlers or superstars. We're going to go with superstar because I like it better. Uh, today we have Clay Mercer, but first before I introduce him to all of you, I do have some things to say, some plugs to make. Uh, I'm officially on Twitch now. I'm at like I, I was on Twitch before, but I changed my name, so now I'm on Twitch. Go follow me there. Um, oh, uh, I want to give a shout out to uh, well, not really a shout out, but I, I want to tell you guys if you want to vote this year, it is an election year. If you want to vote, make sure you're registered at um, headcount.org, I believe is the um. The thing. So headcount.org let you know if you're registered. Uh, make sure you guys go to headcount. Make sure that you're registered, and so you can vote this year. Uh, and at every four years after this. Uh, but without further ado, I would like to introduce to you the man, the myth, the legend, and I guess, yeah. Uh. <laughs> The man, uh, I think he's having some issues, but we're going to bring him in. Let's see if we can help him out. Clay Mercer, everybody. Uh, his camera, I think, is off. Um, I don't know what's going on here. Let me take him out. Hold on. Hmm. Uh, if you guys hear something, it's my fan in the background. It's warm here. Oh, I left. Uh, yeah. Um, I don't know. Technical difficulties, everybody. I'm sorry. Uh, but again, uh, I had to count. Dot org, I believe, is the is the website. Make sure you guys are uh, registered to vote, um, and for the twenty twenty election, uh, voting has already begun uh, here in Michigan. Uh, so definitely go. Um, go make sure you're you're registered. And if you want to register, they also can register you to vote um, there as well. It's not just seeing if you are. You can also just register on the website also. So make sure you are. And if you aren't, register there. Uh, they, they also... I, 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 never mind. Headcount.org <laughs> um, is that website again. Have it scrolling down across the screen there. So, we are waiting for Clay Mercer. Sorry, I have my PS4 up on my screen. I was just seeing if my buddy is uh, in uh, the chat there. Um, if you guys want to check out uh, my other podcast that I do, you don't want to watch the videos, um, go to anchor.fm on your computer or download the Anchor app. 
on um, on your phones. Uh, I believe it's for Android and um, iPhones also. Looks like we might have the SVBW wrestler known as Clay Mercer coming to uh, your screen here soon. Anchor.fm or download the app today and listen to the Weathers Media Network, Weathers Media Podcast Network right now. Go ahead and do that. Uh, but for all you slap nuts out there, we have Clay Mercer. How's it going? Clay Mercer, <laughs> how are you, man? I'm doing well. How are you all tonight? Uh, I'm, I'm doing all right. I don't know about anybody else. Um, so it looks like you are uh, wearing your outer circle sweater. Yep, sweatshirt. Correct. Nice. Nice. Uh, And I've got the S one half of the SVBW tag team titles right here. Um, Awesome. These will be defended at Survival War uh, with any combination of the Outer Circle defending them. So it could be me and Mikey Reedy. It could be me and Dustin. It could be Dustin Hunter, Dustin Mikey, me and Hunter. Any combination. Free bird rules. So Logan and a partner of his choosing or whoever wants to step up and challenge for the tag titles. They don't know what's coming at him. All right. Well, I will be down there. So maybe, maybe I could do it. Um, but first we, we will get to that. But first I, I, I want to um, ask you the same questions that I ask all my guests. Uh, we're going to start off with, when did you start watching wrestling? When did I start watching wrestling? Um, man, kind of a loaded question. Um, I've been watching wrestling all my life. I was born in 95, late 95. So right in the thick of the, uh, right as the Monday Night Wars were really gearing up and everybody was about watching. Uh, been watching it ever since I was really in the crib. Um, late nineties, I'd say, um, take your pick, 97, 98, 99. Uh, high to the Monday Night Wars. Uh, my dad uh, was the one who's partially responsible for me uh, being as into wrestling as I am because uh, he was always a NWA slash Memphis old school wrestling guy, big Ric Flair fan, Four Horsemen. Um, now, when I grow up, I went when I was growing up, I uh, went against the grain, and the first really captivating wrestler I watched that sort of influenced me and made me want to emulate some of these guys, was uh, Sting. Sting is probably my favorite of all time. Now, if you're friends with me on Facebook or if you're um, – well, if you know me personally, obviously you know I like Fozzie as well, and you see the picture of me and Chris Jericho on social media. He's probably my favorite WWE star and slash favorite heel of all time. Mm-hmm. But, no, uh, first started watching Nitro mainly. But Dad would always check on uh, – See what was going on, Raw's War, and occasionally Sunday Night Heat and different stuff like that back in the day, too. But yeah, I'd say I first started watching wrestling in the late 90s when I was in the, in the crib, you know, um, just, just a little baby, a little toddler, you know. So I always had it on. All right, cool. Um, yeah, I, 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 I was born a couple years after. I never really watched wrestling very much, but yeah, here I am. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, so uh, obviously uh, your favorite hero of all time is Chris Jericho, but your favorite wrestler, as as I know anyway, you know you you, you brought it out on the All Star Wrestling Quiz, uh, yeah, Mister uh, Slab Nuts himself, uh, Jeff Jarrett. Hold on, opening the wallet real quick. Oh, I yeah. didn't see it. Oh, we he's we in, all do. He's in the back here, real quick. This card I've kept in every single wallet I've had. Uh, since I've had this card, I believe I got it from a, it was a wrestling store, but they also sold cards and different stuff. I I didn't collect these TriStar Cross the Line TNA collectible cards, but I wanted a card 
of Jarrett with the NWA title. Okay. And I found this one right here, which he's a little bent. Um, this is the right stuff card. I think it says, uh, hold it up. Kind of hang on. There we go. Yeah. Jeff. Yeah, somewhat. J E double F J A double R E double T Jeff Jarrett. Well, hang on. Back in front of the camera. Yeah, that's the back of the card. Hey. Yeah, it stays in my wallet. Yes, sir. One of my favorite promoters, bookers, wrestling minds, I guess you would say. Um, yeah. Nice. Uh, so, kind of take me through when you realize, hey, I want to be a wrestler. Okay, so I met a few friends through work, actually. And through college, um, now this, keep in mind, this was before I met Eric Tyler Mullins, who is now Logan Price's manager. Um, but he lives out towards my way, closer to me. Okay. And um, he was the co-founder of this company. known It was based in Wise, Virginia. Um, and it was known as Prestige Championship Wrestling, or PCW for short. Mm -hmm. And this other guy who, he's a legend in his own right. Um but we don't exactly mesh well, and he doesn't reach out to any of us hardly. Um, but I've had many a war with him, and um, he wrestles very stiff. So he wrestles like a Vader, a Sid Vicious, a guys who will just flail their opponents around without any care. Um, but that's the only knock I have on him other than the fact he is hard to deal with, obviously, and a few yeah. people would tell you that. Uh, but that other guy's name was Channing Steele. Um, so we, back in 2015, so this technically makes my sixth year, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and now 20. So six years, uh, of doing this. But in 2015, I was a blue chip rookie, uh, before we even got to PCW, um, Channing Steele asked me if I wanted to come to Coburn, Virginia, outside of Wise, not, by, not by much, maybe like a 20 minute drive or so. And, um, work a little and see what it's like in a backyard company. I said, I followed wrestling all my life. I'll give it a shot, see what I can do. And I came in in my first match, I, before I was even known as Clay Mercer, little known fact here, we're digging back into the vault. I was known as Justin Blaze. Hmm. And um, here's the funniest thing about it all. Um, I, and I'm not saying anything bad about people who decide to do this, um, but I don't smoke or anything. Uh, I couldn't come up with a name hardly. And we'll get to the Clay Mercer name in just a quick second and then more into PCW. Um, but when I entered this company known as XBW, which it was in Coburn, it belonged to a now pro wrestler by the name of Josh Strong. Uh, he wrestles independently. He actually wrestled a show in, I think it was La Follette, Tennessee, um, for SPCW recently. And uh, he wrestled a tag match, and uh, we went and supported him and watched him. So we remain friends with Strong to this day. But I came in as a, an extra hand, per se, because obviously I was green, just trying to um, learn about what was going on and everything. And um, I lost my first match to Channing Steele. But then after that, there was a bit of a falling out in the XBW company. That's another story for another time. I'm not going to get into any of that. But Josh did his best towards the end of his backyard career before he decided to chase his dream and go pro. Um, so that's how I got my foot in the door. And then it rolled back around when I met Eric and um, Channing Steele didn't forget me. And then I wrestled for PCW. And also there was another pro in PCW who now goes by the name of uh, Brian Michael Wild or BMW. But his real name is Joshua Rollins. And he was a friend of Strong's. And I, I've wrestled... And I have a, a victory or two over now pro wrestlers, um, which is kind of a big thing. It is, uh, yeah. But, uh, no, got my foot in the door at PCW. That's where I won my first world title uh, back in 2015 towards the end of my tenure. But then I suffered a knee injury, and I had to vacate the title. So the end of PCW was around – I remember there was snow in their last match. It was around December of 15, I'm wanting to, stay, wanting to say – so then 2016, I took a break, but that's sort of how I got into it. Um, uh, the Clay Mercer character, I can get more into that in a second if you want to know how I went from Justin Blaze. And a funny quick another note about Justin Blaze and what I was talking about. The, I didn't finish what I was saying about the uh, everybody who might smoke or yeah. drink or like, 
you know, anything like that. So my debut was supposed to be on April 19th, I think, of 15 for XBW then. And where my name was Justin Blaze, a few of them, uh, there were going to be a few fans, friends and family and stuff, and like different fans in the crowd. And somebody was going to make me crack up and make me break character and everything uh, if they would have held this sign up. But it was going to say 419 Blaze it. <laughs> but yeah, that was uh, my first character before Clay Mercer came to be, as you see him today. All right, I, I, that's pretty interesting, actually. Um, yeah, I, I I don't do it too much. I partake a little bit, but eh, you know, not 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 a whole lot. You know? Yeah. Oh, uh, but that that would have been a really cool sign, though. The four nineteen blaze. Blazer, <laughs> four nineteen blaze it, yeah. And I spelled blaze. I think not like a Lundra blaze, but it was just B L A Z E. So okay. it was like, yeah. I, that, that would have been a pretty cool storyline, though. Like, oh, I'm, I'm the illegitimate son of a Lundra place. Yeah, that would have been interesting, yeah. Yeah. Um, is is there any chance that we might get that see that character again? Maybe GoPro or whatever? Mm, probably not Justin Blaze. He's, uh, <laughs> he got his ass kicked a little bit too much. And, uh, <laughs> that character, uh, well, that side of me didn't know the difference between Justin Blaze and Clay Mercer real quick. And I guess I'll touch on the Clay Mercer name and uh, yeah. everything, my, you know, who I am today. The difference between Justin Blaze and Clay Mercer is Clay Mercer is a man with a vision and who is more powerful, uh, confident in himself, uh, knows what he wants. And Justin Blaze was the green, blue-collar worker, but like upstart rookie who was just trying to fit in with everybody and not piss anybody off, but just like in any workplace, just like in any business, you're going to have your closest allies and you're going to have your bitterest rivals, I guess you could say. So eventually, Justin Blaze just couldn't deal with the fact that you're not going to be friends with everybody. And Clay Mercer said, screw it, I'll do it for myself, basically. Okay. Um, and the Clay Mercer name, Yeah. Um, I came up with Mercer. Okay. Um, so, so Mercer... Um, was something I came up with. And I couldn't really think of a first name. And it was Channing Steele and Eric Tyler Mullins who sort of influenced the clay part. Um, it's not fully related to football. Like, I like the name clay, and, and it's a name you don't hear a whole lot. Um, yeah. Sort of unique. But also, I remember um, watching a football player that played for one of Eric's favorite teams, the Packers, uh, Clay Matthews. Clay Big, Matthews, long, flowing hair. Yeah. yeah, Clay Matthews. You probably remember him as well. I, I remember this, him well. Yeah. yeah. The Blanks fan pack. Yeah, I, I, I know him well. Yes. Right. So so that was a, a bit of the influence, but not all the way there. But I, okay. I tell people that and, and just the fact that, you know, Clay Mercer has a nice ring to it, I felt like. Yeah. Uh, well, you could go really deep and say it was uh, Clay's dad who played in the 80s, I believe. Okay. I think, I think he played for the Saints. I, I don't know that for sure, but so. – <laughs> Another way to go. It's a deeper cut. Right. Yeah. Right. Um, but yeah, okay. Um, so got, kind of tell me how you met, um, or, or kind of where you went uh, after X, XBW, right? Is that what it was? XBW? X, XBW was the first company. Yeah. And then PCW came. PCW. And that oh, was yeah. Eric Tyler Mullins was the co founder. And Channing Steel, it was around Channing Steel's premises, and okay. um, he really wanted to wrestle. So he, he was an influence. And I used to work with Channing Steel at one point in my life. And um, other than wrestle against him and work right. with him for PCW, PCW only lasted about a year, if that. Right. But um, got a little bit too ahead of itself, couldn't sustain itself, and... With a limited roster, you know how it goes. Like, injuries yeah. can happen. So, if you don't have a uh, reliable roster and reliable members, like, we had a ring announcer. We had a commentator. Uh, we had ET doing interview segments between, like, we had a Friday evening talk show that would be posted. So, he'd be interviewing different stars like myself, like Channing Steele, like Young Blood. Channing had a younger brother named Scott Steele. Um, different PCW talent. We even had a masked person. By the name of El Gato Montez, which I think means like translates to the wild cat or something like that. Yeah. Um, Gato or Gato is like definitely cat in Spanish. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. El, or El Gato. 
Yeah. Um, but yeah, so we we had a small limited roster, but um, my first title win, and and I'll touch on this real quick, touching on PCW too. It happened um, in a fatal four way uh, title match uh, between myself, Youngblood, who, who Youngblood is now Josh Rollins slash BMW oh, Whip Pro. Okay. And then um, it was myself, Youngblood, Channing, and Scott Steele. Mm-hmm. And um, I came out on top in that elimination match. And the footage is still on YouTube under the Prestige Championship Wrestling page. There's all, there's like 90-some subscribers, and nothing's been uploaded since the end of 15, really. But uh, it's on there. So there is video. Mm-hmm. Uh, but, yeah, that was my first company. And then I, I remember uh, staying close with with Eric Tyler Mullins and um, a few people who still had interest, but 2016, I mainly focused on college and school and yeah. different stuff in my life. And it um, seems like I made my return to another company in 2017. And that's when I would meet up with most of the crew that everybody's familiar with now on the SV, SVBW channel, which would be the Littles, Dustin and Nicole, yeah. Hunter Becker, Bob Rutter, um, Logan Price, who was a rookie like in 2017, to my knowledge. And yeah. um, I, Eric came along with, and the second company was GSW. But you were asking about PSW or PCW, excuse me. And that's how I got my start. All right. Uh, so, who, for, who from SVBW that, that we know on the roster, um, who kind of did you meet first to kind of like get your foot in the door in that? Uh, Early on, before I was called SVBW, obviously. Um, right. who, 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 how did that kind of come about? Uh, well, the second company and, and how I got my foot in the door with the now SVBW crew. Right, yeah. Um, they're, they're, the company, the second company I was in and where I won my second World Heavyweight Championship was known as GSW. GSW, uh, right. Glade Springs Wrestling. Yeah. Or you could call it GSBW as well, Glade Springs Backyard Wrestling. Um, but the Littles, who you were asking about, who influenced me and who I got my foot in the door with there. Uh, and, and keep in mind, I'm an Outer Circle member now, so Dustin's our World Heavyweight Champion. Yeah. And then we also have the tag titles in our possession, which, like I mentioned, as for aforementioned, uh, any of us can defend. Right. Um, but it would be Dustin and Nicole. And Nicole and uh, Bishop Rudder work as our mouthpieces are advocates um and then you have dustin our world champion i'm still competing um mikey reedy competes and you also have hunter becker as well which hunter becker's won about every title under the sun every company he's been in so a lot of respect for mr becker as well not just the beast but no dustin and nicole were glad to start building their own brand which GSW, it, that's a that's a long story, and Dustin and Nicole could probably tell you more. But um, you know, it had its flaws. It wasn't exactly perfect too. It was a step up from PCW for sure. Yeah. Um, but uh, that's where I really started to know that I wasn't a rookie anymore, and that you know these people would be sticking around in my life, and that I wouldn't be. They wouldn't just be a flash in the pan, and I'd only see them for the year of 2017 slash parts of 18. So, yeah. All right. Uh, so, so you were there, like, from pretty much the beginning of what would become SVBW then. Correct. So, to catch people up to speed, uh, if you haven't followed our channel much, which we're only up to about 133, 134 subscribers, somewhere in that range at the moment. Right. Um. But there's a reason for that, why it's still kind of lower, or what some consider lower. And that's because there were two channels before it. So after GSW folded, and there was a falling out and different stuff, when we were on separate pages. Um, so Dustin, Hunter, Nicole sort of went their separate ways. Logan went his separate way, and Logan wanted the company as well. And so Logan, Mikey Reedy, me, Eric Tyler Mullins... Um, longtime referee Justin Barton, um, that goes all the way back to PCW with us. So we had help. So we had our own company. I was in at first UCWA, um, and that's where my third world title win came in. Uh, and keep in mind, all three of my world title wins, I 
do not or I did not own any stake in the uh, company. Um, didn't make any definitive decisions, nothing like that. It's just they had faith confidence in me and the priest. Right. But uh, UCWA started up. Um, it mainly ran throughout last year before the merger. Um, and Dustin Little, Hunter, Nicole, Bob, and a few others had their own company, and they called it ACBW. Now, ACBW, their uh, company, I'm pretty sure stood for American uh, Championship Backyard Rep, something like that. Mm-hmm. And then ours, and I helped come up with the name for our new company, Logan, I mean, that was known as Undisputed Championship Wrestling Conference, UCWA. So the first match in UCWA last year was supposed to be me versus Logan Price. But we all know Locke throws its curveball and has a twist and turn. And uh, I had to focus on At that time, I was finishing some college and still going to that. But I had a more serious, more reputable job. Uh, and I couldn't really be affiliated as much. So I had to back out of like, the inaugural UCWA match with, uh, now I was there for the first event, but Logan attacked me before my match, and then he had a match with the hottest free agent, Mikey Reedy, and those two really helped carry UCWA, along with Eric Tyler who still competed some and put a promo a lot on the channel, or excuse me, on the UCWA channel again. So, yeah. So we had two separate channels all of last year. And the SBBW channel is still relatively new, but a lot of the content from the last year's stuff is carried over to the SBBW. Yeah. All right, cool. Um, so I, I, I kind of want to ask you about, um, uh, so you are the current uh, tag team, one half of the tag team. Channel. One half of the correct, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Kind of tell people who probably aren't familiar with your brand, uh, kind of what happened uh, in you. Because last time, I think last time we saw it, it was still on Logan's shoulder, I believe. Correct. So, and this goes along with the formation and will actually help with the build up of Survival World upcoming October 17th. That's the BW2. If you don't already subscribe, um, from what I hear, which I mean, the main event is going to be a five-on-five elimination tag match. Um, but we don't all start out at the same time. We're not um, – all five members of each squad are not out there at the same time. It starts out one-on-one, I'm pretty sure. And then it's sort of a mixture of uh, war games in a way too because there's not cages we get released from or anything, but every – there's a timer, and every so often um, – a new member will come out for their respective faction and they'll have a partner to tag and the dust is not clear. The dust is not settled. Um, the score is not settled until um, every last member of either team Dark Wolf or my squad. I say it's my squad, but it's all of our squad. Mine, Hunter Beckers, Dustin Little, and Mikey Reedy are confirmed. Plus we have a mystery partner. Uh, just We only have one. Logan just actually made an announcement on the SVBW Instagram that he did not added Will Jackson, who is my current rival. Um, and I may have a match with him. Uh, I'm pretty sure if, if he accepts, you know, if he cuts a promo and says, I accept your submission match, because I cut a promo on the SVBW channel challenging him. Um, and I think that will prove who is worthy to go on and sort of, other than this tag belt that I really want to make prestigious and, um, propel here in the SVBW brand um, for the U.S. title. I want to go for that. But you, your question was about the tag titles. Um, the tag titles, Logan and Nicole were tag champions. Uh, the Howling Roses. And um, great team. Uh, inaugural um, SVBW tag champs. These tag titles are relatively new in the company. And we have enough roster members and enough talent, and now there's some factions and some different stuff going on to run tag matches. Um, But what had happened was Nicole, at the end of one of our latest events, uh, Rags to Riches, I'm pretty sure it was Rags to Riches, um, she retired. She It was a big bombshell. She didn't tell any of us that were coming, really. 
if she did tell, tell somebody, maybe Logan knew, uh, but I'm not for sure on that. Um, but Eric and I were up there. I made my return at Rags to Riches to SVBW, honestly, um, and fought Will. So me and Will are in a rivalry. Um, but the tag titles, no. They After she retired, Logan started defending the tag titles on his own. And what had happened was he ended up going up against the Hounds of Gold, which are collectively, when they tag team, the Hounds of Gold are our current world in the best community. And um, Hunter Beck. So they took on Logan. Logan could have been high in air, but the unthinkable sort of happened. At least the kid. When Cole turned her back on her, even though she's retired, she is an advocate, a manager, and got a coach. And this is the point of the coach. She kept an eye on her. Um, and Logan lost the tag title to a world champion, but she left the East Coast Little and Hunter Beck. So now, and our manager, Bobby Rutter, who is also doing um, he announced that the Outer Circle member, so technically I didn't win the first one, but I was still defended with pride, with honor, because Dustin has the world belt. Hunter does his own thing. Um, you target one of the Outer Circle members, you target Paul. Both connected to it. Um, but yeah, that's the story of how the tag titles, well, this tag title, one half of the tag titles, is it? I'm not going to be Also, having the produce that we're not going to do, he's doing right the same thing. I thought, you know what? Um, after Logan and Eric, um, or Eric was announced to be the Dark Wolf Lodge's advocate, his Logan picture. Yeah. yeah, this is the first time in my six year backyard career that I've ever been a part of a fact. And I'm very proud that I was able to offer to join up with my protege, the two men. I really have a lot of respect for him. Active with the team, which would be uh, Hunter Beck and Doug. And then, of course, Bob and Nicole, both former world champions. So every member, even our two athletes, are two members of our former world champions. Nice. Um, so I, I'm really excited for Survival War. Um, right. Personally, uh, and I I cannot wait to meet all you guys in, in person. Um, and it it I feel like it's gonna be a really fun time. I really do. Um, it is. I'm really excited because um, you know I you know uh, Logan. Last time I talked to Logan, uh, we we did a live show or I don't know what it was exactly. Yeah. And, uh, so he offered me the host position, uh, which was very nice of him. I did not expect that at all. Um, that was uh, that was very nice of him to do that. Uh, but I, uh, and then of course, uh, I have a couple friends to bring in, which is, you know, if we're we're gonna pull the the uh, pull the curtain back on kayfabe real quick because uh, I mean it, it's me. Three times in three different positions, and that's going to be fun for me to do. Uh, so I, I personally don't. Um, if, if if you don't mind me talk for a second, um, I I don't I don't personally enjoy keeping kayfabe you know close to the chest. Uh, that, that's just a me thing, though. I mean, I, I know a lot of a lot of wrestlers are, you know, they keep kayfabe, you know, that's. You know, they live it, they breathe it still to this day, which I get. I understand. Um, I I personally don't enjoy that. I, I like doing these kind of interviews, you know, the kind of shoot interviews and kind of pulling the curtain back on, on some characters. Right. But, yeah, so uh, even though Jared Weathers is going to be there as a, a host, the host of the, of the event, uh, I have my character, Jared Black, uh, coming down, and of course, I had I had to bring uh, my character Ava Brookside down to do the commentary. Uh, and and no matter what happens, man, it's gonna be fun, and it, it's gonna be my first time. Oh man, it's gonna be my first time on a Michigan, probably in like ten years. Or something. It was a long time. <laughs> well, I've lived in Virginia my whole life, so we'll welcome you here, and um. We'll make sure you have a good time, and Survival War 
we thought legendary was a huge event and believe me legendary was a huge event yeah but survival war from what i understand not only our mystery partner but i logan i, I have no idea who he's bringing in he's bringing in two others that are supposed to be mind-blowingly like insanely good good enough to compete against the five outer circle members right. um and that match is also going to be what people don't talk about is um, there will be advocates out there for each team. So Team Dark Wolf, Logan's team, and Team Outer Circle, which I could you could say is captained by Dustin Little, our world heavyweight champion. That's only fitting. Yeah. Um, but it's not a captain fall. It's every last member, last member standing, last uh, squadron standing. Um, but we will have uh, Bobby Rudder for sure in our corner. Um and then we're working out the kinks for a fifth. Um, can't drop too many hints right now about the fifth outer circle member in that match. Of course. Um, but it, things are really shaping up. So right now it's a four on three, but five members will be on each um, team. All right. Uh, and, oh, I was just going to mention that um, I, I, just to expand briefly on the fact that um, every member of the outer circle is a world former world champion. Um, you were asking a bit about the history of Clay Mercer and previous organizations. And for anybody out there watching any backyard promotion, when it comes to Virginia backyard wrestling, to my knowledge, nobody has came up to me and said different. I've done YouTube searches. I've done Google searches. I've looked around. But to my knowledge, until someone proves me wrong or someone shows me elsewhere that I'm not the first, uh, I am the first at Clay Mercer was a key spark and a key piece of the puzzle for the revolution in the mountains, is all I can call it, um, or mountains here in southwest Virginia. Uh, I was the first ever triple crown, three different companies, world heavyweight champion in each. And that would be PCW, I told you my first company, and then yep. GSW. Now, the second match um, that I won my world title, I actually pinned Hunter Becker for it. Oh. Um, and that, we had a GSW YouTube channel and a GSW Facebook page, but that footage, unfortunately, is lost. Now, there are some photos, photographic proof of me with my second uh, world title. Uh, and then last year, UCWA at UCWA Death Clock, our event, I won my Triple Crown in a uh, Death Clock match, which is a fun little interesting match. It's almost like a mixture of the Elimination Chamber and Extreme Rules similar uh it's a anything goes uh at least four to six people uh elimination style match almost like a championship scramble in a way but instead of you having to have the last pinfall and then compete for a title you've got to be the last one standing as well um but death clock is a nice event but that's basically almost like survival war but singles competition in a sense right um but no, Death Clock, that's a great event for me. I was the first ever Rags to Riches winner for UCWA. Uh, and that match, ironically, we only brought him in for one event, but that Channing Steel was in UCWA last year. Um, so I won the Rags to Riches briefcase over uh, Mikey Reedy, Channing Steel, Logan Price, and I was the first UCWA winner. And then ACBW also had a winner. My rival right now, Mr. Big Shot, the Fallen, the Falling Angel, the whatever Angel, whatever his nickname is, Will Jackson. Um, so at Rags to Riches this year, we uh, my return match. Will didn't know who his opponent was, and I saw the opportunity. And I, if you go back and watch that match, I would highly recommend it on the SVBW channel. It's uh, Will versus question mark question mark question mark, and that's me making my return. Um, excellent match. Um, Will did get the better of me, but that was just one chapter uh, in the SVBW book. And like I said, I've still got some things to sort out with him, so I'm focused on him as well as um, helping the Outer Circle defeat Team Dark Wolf. That's Rival War. Awesome, man. And and just so you guys know, Survival War, October 17th. Make sure you guys go watch that. Um, I will be there. Uh, is, is there anything you want to plug before we get out of here? I uh, just want to plug that there's only a few events left for SVBW. Um, if you haven't already, of course, subscribe to Jared's 
uh, channel. Subscribe to SVBW. Um, support us. Uh, we are still working on some merch and some different stuff for you guys. Um, we've discussed different ideas about um, even like meet and greets or like charity, like off the wall ideas to help not only our company, but like certain causes and different stuff. Like, uh, for example, my great grandfather, he was in, uh, world war two and he's my great grandfather still alive. But, um, I used to work, um, I support law enforcement. I support, of course, the U S military. Um, but I've had family members in the army and, uh, for example, like a charity I would want to donate to would be the wounded warrior project. Right. So, um, but that's just an example of right. coming up with different stuff, like either bracelets or merch, like shirts, hats, different stuff for you guys to buy. Um, we're still working out the shop stuff. Um, and just trying to plug SVBW mainly, uh, the channel, subscribe to the channel. We also got Instagram. Uh, some of us are on Twitter. I'm on Twitter at Bulletproof 2K20. Um, maybe change that soon to, to SVBW Mercer or maybe an Outer Circle Mercer. Um, when you go to that page, it'll say Strength in Numbers because that's what the Outer Circle is all about. Solidarity. Um, no weak links. Um, just all together one unit. Um, but I think that's pretty much just about everything I have to plug. Um, we appreciate you all. Uh, fans tuning in, not just the Jared's channel here, but SVBW. Um, appreciate you all who watch The Alternative. Um, there's plenty of wrestling on every week. Um, YouTube is a constant. Um, I've always liked doing stuff on YouTube. I've debated having my own YouTube channel and different stuff, but I'm still working that out. Um, but no, we appreciate the fans, all of us at SVBW, from the Outer Circle to even Logan. Uh, which Logan says he's Mr. No Fucks Given, but, um, and he might not need the fans to support him because he knows how good he is, but I just want to say thank you to the fans, um, of and plug that finally to, to sort of wrap it up in case you had any other questions for me or, um, which I know you're hosting, um, the Survival War, the whole event. Yeah. So you obviously know about the main event, the five on five Survival War matchup between Outer Circle and Team Dark Wolf. Um, still one mystery to be revealed for us. Still two mystery partners to be revealed for Team Dark Wolf. Uh, and then if you'll accept, which I got to talk to GM Rudder and for fellow Outer Circle m members um, and see where this puts me in the U.S. title hunt. Um, Dustin has the world. Hunter is Mr. Rags to Riches. Logan better watch his Valor Championship. Um... We already got the tag titles, different stuff going on. But, yeah, Survival War is going to be very interesting. Um, I'm sure as soon as they have a full match card or a proposed match card, it'll be up on the SVW, SVBW channel. So just keep an eye on our channel for more promos, more um, information about it. Um, like I said, on the Instagram, it was revealed to me that Will Jackson has aligned himself with Logan Price. So doesn't sit too well with me, but, you know. Right. Uh, hold on. Okay. Yeah, so uh, definitely go subscribe to SVBW 100%. Um, I, I'm really glad that I met you guys. Um, I kind of knew about I, – I knew about Dustin and Nicole and Logan through um, the uh, – the TBW guys, not the Tennessee backyard, the team backyard wrestling from Georgia, uh, Dak okay. Ryan and Johnny Blade and all them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and and it's, it's been really nice talking to you guys. Really, um, I I've I interviewed all I interviewed, well, I interviewed uh, Dak and Johnny Blade from that promotion, and I interviewed uh, you, uh, Dustin, and uh, Logan. Uh, I hope to meet more of you guys, especially, you know, when I go down there. Uh, but definitely go check out uh, SBBW on uh, it, on YouTube and Instagram. I hope I spelt this correctly. Uh, Bulletproof 2K20, right? 
Yes, that's correct on Twitter. Mm -hmm. Awesome. So definitely go follow him because he is a really nice guy, even though he might be an asshole on TV. Uh, <laughs> uh, no, he's he's a really nice guy. I talk to him a lot. Um, they're, they're all nice guys. I, I know they all play up, but they're they're all really fucking nice guys. I promise. Um, and uh, I don't know, man. Fucking, it, it, I I always say in all my videos, dislike all my videos, but in this one, everyone needs to like this video because Clay Mercer is a nice fucking dude. Um, so go ahead and like this video, share this video to everybody. Go check them out. Uh, go check him out. And uh, definitely when, when they get merch, go and buy it. And uh, I don't know, buy my merch. I have like a couple of designs up there, whatever, whatever. Uh, but thank you, Clay, so much for doing this, man. I'm, I'm very happy that I finally got an interview with you, man. Well, I appreciate it. Thank you. You can now say that you've interviewed uh, a Triple Crown Virginia Backyard Champion, which others have Triple Crowns, I think, too now, but I was the first. So I should say you've interviewed the first man to compl successfully complete that feat in Virginia. So. That's right. Uh, but, yeah, so thank you, and I will see everybody – uh, later, I don't know when. I, I just kind of make videos whenever. Uh, but thank you, 100. percent Thank you. I'm thank you for back. having me. Of course. Uh, come back anytime, man. I'm I'm free whenever, man. More quizzes, man. I got to take down that other guy on the podcast. I he know. doesn't like me. <laughs> I know. I know. I'll try, to. I'll try to join another um, All Star Wrestling quiz hopefully here soon. Just been working a lot, gearing up for Survival War. Yeah. Uh, Oh, uh, trying to stay focused. Yep. I I do want to officially announce right here, right now, with Clay Mercer on the other side of this call, we will do once uh, the All Star Wrestling Quiz is officially over for season one, we will mm -hmm. officially do a uh, a movie trivia quiz, and I hope more people will join that one because that one I know a lot about. I yeah, lots, lots of movie shit. So. Definitely, I'll see you on that one too. Right, very cool. Sounds good. Yeah, uh, but we're gonna get out of here, guys. Make sure you go follow him on Twitter, and we will see you all later. Go fuck yourselves. <laughs>